Hello, I just wanted to give a quick psychological analysis of the game Pokemon Soul Silver. Now, I grew up playing Pokemon Blue when I was a kid, and then I played Yellow, and then Silver. And then I believe after that I eventually played Diamond, and that was the last one I ever played. Now, I just recently had the, a very strong desire to start playing Pokemon again. So, I went and went looking online, and it turns out, like in the timeline, I want to, I want to do all, I want to play all the games. So, I think the next, I'm replaying S Silver, but this one is called Soul Silver. It's a remake, so it's like the same game I used to play, like however many years ago, ten plus years ago. But um, now I'm playing it again with you know remade graphics and audio and stuff, and it is fantastic. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten masterpiece. I just wanted to give a quick analysis on it. Um, a couple things I noticed that are kind of, I guess, in contrast to Blue, uh, the other game that I played, and remember a lot of. I do not remember Diamond at all, for, virtually at all. Do not remember it. Yellow, I don't remember that either. I'm pretty sure it was almost the same though as the other ones, as Red, uh, Red and Blue. Um, so one thing to notice right away is the graphics are incredible in this remake. Um, I'm so glad that they did it that they called it soul silver and it just makes perfect sense that it's just it really does touch my soul All the little tiny details in the game from the music to the colors the, the color palette they used the flowers how the flowers dance in the grass the light there's little light um, There's these lanterns. I'm near right now that are glowing. I would show you all of this, but Nintendo will probably copyright me um, And plus I really can't show you in any good way right now. I don't have like a Good angle. It's dark in the room. Anyway, I'm just sitting here um, anyway, the lighting, um, the weather effects, oh my god, right at the beginning of the game, the wind is just blowing, and you can see it, and its effect on the environment, it's amazing. But one of the most amazing things um, is the fact that your Pokemon comes around with you. you. You have a little Pokemon that follows you as you as you go around. Whoever is in your first lot, you know how you can carry six Pokemon normally with you? Well, whoever is the number one, that Pokemon will be out of their Pokeball all the time when you're outside, and he'll be following you, him or her, walking right behind you wherever you go. And I think that creates such a strong bond between the player and their Pokemon, um, unlike, unlike anything I've ever seen. That, and then, another thing I wanted to t touch on was your mom. I, you can name your character whatever you want. I named him Ash because of the, the, the show and everything and the, the lore. Ash's mom you find out like how nice she really is if you do a little bit of exploring like she she gives you this Pokemon gear and stuff right away and she sh she supports you on your journey and stuff uh, at the beginning of the game and a little bit into the game a few hours into the game you might stumble across this person I did at least this person I talked to who, who it was another child another kid who wanted um to you know go be a Pokemon trainer but his mom would not allow him to use Pokemon gear like his mother would not allow him to and that just shows you know how awesome our mom is and it just re relates to the tr a kid like the kid in me you know like in real life if if and, and in you the kid in me and the kid in you listening to this video uh, watching this video if your parents ever you know let you do something or supported you in some way you know or even if they didn't how how nice it would have been to feel that way right if they had supported you and and, and it makes you feel this way in this game like your mom is, is supporting you to be a Pokemon trainer and Pokemon master. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I believe there was one other thing I wanted to mention before I end this video. Um, what is it? Let's see. Ah, yes, the ruins. So, right now, I'm in the ruins of Alf. Of like, I call the ru ruins of Alf, and I stumbled across. <sighs> These statues. There's like this this temple with a bunch of statues in it of ancient Pokemon, like old Pokemon that are over a thousand years old, fifteen hundred years old. And somebody's in there just like admiring them, walking around and I talked to this old guy and he said, you know, he's like this um this temple has never been tampered with, no graffiti, no destruction, no no robbery, no one's robbed it. He said, there must be something about this place that makes humans want to preserve it and respect it. And that made me, you know, smile, made me so happy. It's like, 
it's showing that even the bad people in this game, whoever they are, I don't know who the bad people are. I think it might be Team Rocket. I'm not. I'm not sure. But whoever the negative people are, even they don't go robbing the, the temple in this one area of ancient Pokemon relics because they they view it as sacred. Like it just shows that like people can have common decency and treat each other with you know a, at least a, a basic amount of respect on some level in some way, and they portray and they're portraying that in this game. Um, oh yes, another, another, while I have you here, I'm thinking through my mind of any psychological uh, aspects of this game that I can bring up, as opposed to the old games that I played. Well, in this one, you have phone numbers, like you have contact. When I'm talking to people, if, you, if, if someone likes you, they will ask you for your phone number, and then you can have a, a conversation with them. You will put them into your phone book, and then you can contact them, and you can call them, and they can call you like anytime, making connections. That's what I'm pointing at, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the, 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 the geniuses at Nintendo are so good at facilitating connections with their players and, and their players to the games, likewise, you know? Taking their players and connecting them to the game. It is amazing. It makes me feel connected to the world, and it makes my, me feel like my player is connected to the players and the other people within the world that inhabit this world. Incredible, Nintendo. They also gave us these little running shoes that I can turn on and off at the tap of a button or just hold down the button. Incredible. Mind blowing. Um, God. Let's see, anything else off the top of my head? Looking at the Pokemon. Everybody gets, um,. Yeah, experience. If they even see a little bit of battle, that's normal. I'm trying to think of any of it. Chikorita is the, my starter, by the way, for Soul Silver. Uh, for those wondering, Chikorita. I'm so happy that I ended up choosing her. I'm pretty sure it's a him, but I'm calling it a her because it reminds me of a girl. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy. She has pretty much every move that I want her to have right away, and she's level 14. I also have a Pidgey, an Onyx, and this weird thing that's called a Sen Centret. Centret. I don't know what it, what it does, what it's about. And I have an egg, and I'm assuming it's going to hatch after I walk it for a while. But anyway, guys, Nintendo has just made this game even more lovable and accessible. Um, and I'm so happy that I've chosen to replay this because I played um, Blue, or I guess Leaf Green, which is the remake of Blue. I played that couple years ago so I already played that one and I played that multiple times so now I'm going to do this one and then I will work my way up all the way to Sun and Moon and then when I'm done with all of that hopefully the new Pokemon game for Nintendo Switch will come out and I'm hoping that will be a open world game that will be similar to Zelda or Mario where you actually run around the world and get to have Pokemon balls on your on your hip and throw them and capture Pokemon in the forest. It would be it will be game of the year in my opinion if that game comes out um, like that in 3D instead of just being always top down. The Game Boy game should be top down but if it's going on Switch it, it should be a, a real 3D game. Use the Zelda engine. Use the Mario engine. You know what I mean? They have it. Use the engines. Alright guys um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Is there anything else that I can come up with here? Let me look. Ash uh, telling me about my Oh, there's a signature. You could do a signature on the DS here. I put my signature. Two L's. Cursive L's here. Um, yeah. Beautiful. My, It's like my ID card. So you get to actually sign your ID card. It's personalized. Once again, they're going in, into the psychology. Nintendo's getting so good. I, can, I can't wait to see what the other games do as far as facilitating connections uh, and communication between player and player uh, and player and system. You know, and the mechanics. Absolutely incredible. I tip my hat to you every time. Ah, yes, even more stuff. The frames, you can change the frames of the chat boxes so when you, people are talking to you, you can control it. You can, there's nine or ten, there's, there's ten different things, ten different, uh, I guess you call them outlines, you know? Perimeters, there's different designs on the outside. I have a silver one, it's like silver stars to represent the soul silver, of course. Ah. <sighs> Gosh, 
I think of anything else, I will make another video or I'll add on to this one. But otherwise, guys, that's about it. Just wanted to comment on this game. The opening when you turn the game on, the blue screen, it just warms my heart. Seeing, I, I think it's called Lugia. I don't know if the, that's the name of the Pokemon, but that legendary Pokemon, I can't wait to eventually get it. I'm going to capture it. That's another reason why I love this game so much, to capture that Pokemon. It's beautiful. It's, it's amazing. It, it, it just looks adorable. All right, but I will catch you guys in the next one. Um, please don't lose the children, the, 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 the child within your heart. Don't lose that kid, you know, that, that, that childlike spirit. Uh, play games, listen to music, eat delicious food, and, and spend time with those you love. I'll talk to you guys later.